they call the ATACMs a force multiplier, right? Now, what does that mean? A force multiplier is a weapon system that makes other systems, other parts of the force work better, right? And I think uh, the a Peter is going to talk about the ATACMs being a force multiplier. I think the better example, if you want to understand a, what a force multiplier is, would be the drones, right? And that's in this war that is so obvious, right? Just... It's clear to anybody, I think, that an infantry unit with drones is much more capable than an infantry unit without drones, right? And, and no one's going to want to do that anymore. And the drones themselves don't necessarily, sometimes they're armed, but an unarmed drone even provides useful intelligence and makes the infantry unit much more effective. It multiplies their force. So, to my mind, that is, if we want to force multiply it, that, that's the, the, they win the prize. ATACMs. Again, Peter has a very good video. No hate on anything he says there. Um, and he goes on to identify what is not necessarily the force multiplier effect, but the inherent value of the missile as a deep strike missile, right? And the ATACMs, it's an okay missile. Okay, look, it was made, I was in the army, I was young when this thing was made. So it's old. The Army stopped buying them. The U.S. Army stopped buying them in 2007. Uh, we've been upgrading them, uh, even the old missiles, upgrading them, moving from cluster munitions to unitary warheads, from unguided to guided with GPS. So um, the missile now can go uh, 300 kilometers, and it is guided at the end. It maneuvers towards a GPS location. Right, so it it can't hit moving targets. Right, that's it's going to hit a stationary target. It has a thirty foot circular error of probability, meaning that it's accurate enough that thirty uh, that fifty percent of the weapons will land within thirty feet of the target, and you get that by testing and simulations and all. Uh, remember, half of them are going to land farther than thirty feet from the target. Probably enough to get the Kurt Straight Bridge. Expect misses is my whole point. That's the inherent value of the weapon, and it will be a strategic value if you take this. The Kurt Bridge is a strategic target, right, and operational as well because it's a logistics thing for the forces. Uh, and so we can expect that. Where the where the uh, high the force multiplier will come in, I think, and I think it, it does have a role. You just have to ask, well, what force are you multiplying? And for that, I think of the F-16s that they're getting, right? The F-16s are, again, you know, they're kind of, they're good, they're old, but they're good. Um, together, though, these guys can be very potent. You can use your ATACMs to attack enemy air defenses, Russian air defenses, and then strike while they're blind, while they're down, right? Um, you can... Uh, go in and strike, right? And so you can launch your ATACMs at the enemy air defenses. You can then, you know, uh, hopefully take out the air defenses. If the air defenses take out the ATACMs, well, maybe now you can see where their radars, radars are and you can shoot your harm missiles at them from the F-16s. Um, but then the F-16s, once you punch a hole in the air defenses, you can go in and attack targets, whatever those air defenses were defending in the first place. Devastating use. This is joint suppression of air defenses, what we used to call it. Uh, that's when two branches work together uh, to achieve the mission. And this is where we get synergy. This is where the force multiplication comes in, right? That the F-16s alone, eh. Um, you know, the F-16, I mean, just, you know, just imagine the layers of things that Ukraine can use together. Drones, in the initial thing to discover where the air defenses are, maybe to attack, make them light up, then attack them to further degrade them and make more light up. And then F-16s coming in to deliver the Sunday punch, right? And that is going to be a devastating combination, especially if at the same time, there's more air defense missiles for the Ukrainians to protect the airfields that the F-16s are operating out of. This is why everything together is so important. Um, and here we have our force multiplication.